back in South Africa because Czechos claim that their butchery is even better. He's bloody hilarious, honestly. Very funny, quirky, and yeah, he's got that sort of uh, individual look about him. I love working with Natalie. It's interesting, we haven't finished yet, but he's not used to sharing his spotlight and neither am I. So it's like two circus lions, and we're not sure who's going to jump through the hoop and who's going to eat the other one. Who is now for the to the F word? Okay, sorry. The Kenya beef. Oh, bollocks. Beef. Steak. Right, premium pork. Rum. Delicious. It's still a butcher I buy from. Actually, I to the F word. Is he drunk? <laughs> and I'm very glad you didn't use the F, 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 the, no, so, on behalf, thank you. <laughs> the premium pork range for me was the big surprise. I had pigs in the back garden, so I used to uh, rear my own pigs, and I've fed one uh, with beer, uh, and one was a vegetarian. Um, so the last time I tasted pork that good was the pigs I had uh, in my back garden, and they were called uh, Trini and Susanna. <laughs> Cook it fast right down. No, I can't cook. I'm a very good, excellent fake, but I'm not a, a chef, I'm a home cook. I have no technique. My grandmother. My grandmother is saying, tomorrow the war comes, so let's eat everything today. My grandmother lived in a very small house and now less than 40 or 50 people ate there a day. The doors were always open, there was always food.